A warm welcome to Anuradha Vedic Astrology. Today we are going to talk about Karna, the one that helps us understand and work in our profession. So, before we begin, a big thanks to all of you for liking, sharing and subscribing to our videos and our audios through YouTube and Spotify. If you haven't subscribed to us, do remember to subscribe to us and press the bell button so that you can get the updates ASAP. Karna is that part of Panchang that helps us understand and work towards our career. There are lots of elements in the Karna. One, the deity, the planet involved and very interestingly, it's animal. So we'll talk about the animal in one of the shots or one of the small videos. But before we move on to Kinstugna Karna, we need to understand why this Karna is special. There are 11 Karnas in total. Eight Karnas keep repeating themselves. The rest of the Karnas are the three Karnas which do not repeat themselves and are special from the Tithi of Amavasya to the first half of Pratipada. This fierce Karna or Kimstugna comes in the first half of Shukla Pratipada Tithi. That is why it is in Muhurta, it is not advised to do anything on the first half or start any action, initiate any good work in the first half of the Shukla Pratipada Tithi. Not only is the Tithi weak, the Karna is also overpowering or very strong. The deities of the King Stugna Karna are the Marut, showing a lot of violence, showing a lot of physical energy and fearlessness in anything and everything that they do. So such people make very fearless warriors. Not only uh, can they do well in the military or in any of the forces, these people also fearlessly take decisions in whichever area of work that they want to move ahead in or accomplish. The Maruts, as Puranic stories tell us, were those children, are the children of Diti and Indra tried to kill them in the mother's womb. And through that, we understand that each of them are equal to an Indra. While uh, still on Kim Stugna, I'd like to tell you that we do have a Puranic podcast wherein we talk about these Puranic stories, which also have a very strong astrological connection. If you are interested in listening to them, please, on Spotify, on FM, do uh, like us, do subscribe to us there. Coming back to Sugna Karna, these Maruts are the ones who then went on to become the warriors who accompanied Indra. Without these warriors, Indra is not capable of fighting and winning his battles. So in essence, wherever these, where if somebody has this Kimstugna Karna in his chart, it is, it makes him a very fierce warrior and whoever that he works under, whoever he accompanies or she accompanies will become very strong in their work. These people themselves may not have a very uh, strong rise in position depending on the Deshkal Patra obviously, but whatever that they do, they have a focus, they have a goal, which according to them is easily achievable. Also, these people can be very stubborn, these people can be very fierce when they want to achieve their goals. As Mercury, which represents the King Stugna Karna, is strong in a person's chart, it uh, it also tells that the person will be able to choose their profession well. It also depicts that they would find out ways to get their work done. Ketu, which is the planet which is associated with this karna, will make them, give them the focus, give them the insight and give them the dedication to attain their goals. 
Let us take up a chart to see how this karna functions in a person's chart. The chart that I here take up is that of Prince William. We know that he is the recently Prince of Prince William is the heir apparent of the British throne and his Ketu is sitting right there in the Lagna in the Purv Shada Nakshatra, giving him an ability to nurture, to be a strong fighter and what more be very dedicated to his work. His Mercury is the sixth, is placed in the sixth house with the sixth lord and is the Lord of the 7th and 10th houses showing that service before self is the motto that he has to follow if he has to grow big in his work. Mercury for him is also placed in the sign of Rohini showing growth all around. So we know that this Karna is the one that gives him an ability to be a fighter, to be a dedicated to be dedicated to his father who is sitting on the throne and to be a great warrior. As the prince I and the heir apparent, he has a lot on his shoulders and he knows how to deliver with ease. Let us not forget that he has also been an officer with the air force. So the Marut, the Marut which signify the Kimstugna Karna need to show their expression in whatever work they do. Before we end, let me also tell you that they show something from the past which has not been resolved and people in this lifetime need to resolve it. So, Kinsugna Karna is also connected with your past life, with heritage. It would always be connected with those people who work with things related to past, things related to heritage. Till we meet with you again, stay Please safe. hit the bell icon Thank for you. fresh updates. Don't forget to like, share and comment on the videos and please subscribe to our channel.